Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. Uh, this was sent to me by Migron slash AM8. It's the same company. I'm not really sure why the need for the split, but um, usually this type of box indicates that this is a premium knife and this company or these companies have a reputation for bringing some pretty serious quality uh, for the money to the table. So I'm excited to see what it is. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And thanks so much to my Duron slash AM8 for sending this in for me to take a look at. I will link this right down below. It is very likely it's available right now. So I'll make sure it's down there so you guys can check it out. Let's go ahead and get this uh, outer packaging off. I don't know that there's a way for me to avoid scratching the box. Oh no, oh the box, no, don't put a scratch in the box. Um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, I do remember this. So here's the little thing that it came with. I'm reading, you can't see it, I'm, I'm off camera here. It's called the, the Morad, M-O-R-A-D. Uh, I'll just let you guys look at it right there. Morad. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at it. I like the uh, initial look of this, and it's looking like the milling that they've got here. Oh, yeah. This is similar to the milling that they did on another model that we looked at here recently. I, I like that uh, spot for the inlay. I think that looks nice. Um, but that's some nice... Uh, some nice texturing there, some uh, just sort of diagonal lines. Um, and then we have a pretty simple, straightforward profile, nice simple pocket clip, milled, nice full titanium backspace. I also like the uh, look of the titanium. It's kind of a, initially I thought it was bronze. I think it's more of just like a darker, kind of, I don't know if I should say gunmetal, right? Let's get the blade out. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, Initially, I thought this was going to be a little bit bigger, but this is a good size. M390, classic, about as classic as it gets for a drop point blade, and is a good looking knife. I'm sure that many will agree with me. Very easy to disengage, very easy to flip. We have, they've what they've done here is created this little area where you can get leverage on the flipper tab and they've carved into the frame so that the overall profile of the flipper tab is low and unobtrusive. And you know what? It works really well. You know what it makes me think of is the Riot Horizon series. Uh, the Horizon, uh, the, uh, or wait, no, not the Horizon, the Epoch. That's what it makes me think of. The, uh, the Riot Epoch, I think from a while ago. It's like that, but a little less bulky. And I, I don't think it's quite as long. Um, but I mean, it has a, you know, it's one of those that has like a generic knife profile. So there's not, we can't really be like copy, right? Copy of like a thousand different knives from history. It is absolutely all of eight inches with a three and a half inch blade, three and a quarter inch cutting edge and a reasonable, reasonable choil. There's kind of a hindery, uh, forward choil there, meaning you can get a knuckle in there, but it's not, it doesn't feel like a full, in fact, it's actually quite a bit less room than um, you know, on a Hinder XM18. This is all comfortable. Edges right here are knocked down, S slightly abrupt, but still like right here, this corner is a little bit abrupt, right? This, sh this chamfering area, or this chamfered area is nice, but this corner is a little bit abrupt. I'm not gonna call it sharp. I can just, you know, you can feel it. Um, overall, you know, general, like okay comfort, right? It's mainly because of that abrupt line right there, but the pocket clip is not causing any issues. This is nice, really straightforward, and knowing Migron slash AM8, this is not going to come in super expensive. What I like about this is that we get to enjoy, I mean, this is cool having a little inlay in here. Some people are gonna like this, some people aren't, but I, I like that they went uh, out of their way to you know do some texturing, which is what Migron does. Uh, we get the full pocket clip. We get the, uh, I mean, we're getting a milled pocket clip. We're getting a full titanium backspacer, right? We're getting some titanium anodized hardware. or at least I'm going to assume that uh, because it's blue. It could be steel and, and heated, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably titanium. Uh, nice sort of, we have the horizontal. I'm not going to say that that's hand done, right? But we have the horizontal lines 
uh, on the flat, and then we have the machine um, satin on the bevel going down to the uh, uh, cutting bevel, and then also on um, the uh, swedge up there. And the final cutting bevel is nice and even and very sharp, nice and sticky. Uh, that's the way you want to see a factory edge. Very good. Lock up feels good. Inside, I don't. Oh, they did. They did mill it a little bit. Very thin, very shallow milling. Probably having to watch out for the room that they carved for the inlay. And then, so your weight on this, I'm going to guess this weighs about four and a quarter. Would be my guess. E a little bit more, 4.44 ounces. That's still less than the Ritter Hoag, right? Just another knife that's also eight inches with a three and a half inch cutting edge, right? But this is G10 and steel coming at 4.55 ounces. Not bad for full titanium and a carbon fiber inlay. Action's good, not fall shut out of the box, but it is nice and smooth. Just actually very little encouragement. The detent's nice, very little encouragement. This will, once this breaks in, I it will undoubtedly be fall shut. Um, yeah, that's another good offering from them. Micron's doing doing good stuff. They're not they're not taking too many risks, but they're doing a lot of things that a lot of other companies are not doing. Uh, and those companies are charging more money, right? So it's it's nice to feel like if you're going to spend, you know, at this level, I haven't seen the price yet, but I can, you know, I, I can guess it's going to be decent because it's Micron AM8. Um, but you know, when you're going to spend this type of money, especially, you know, here in 2023, where the cost of everything is just ridiculous. Everything is so expensive. It is absolutely insane, right? It's nice to be able to spend this, you know, this type of money in this tier and actually feel like you're getting a complete design and not like, here's the foundation of the premium knife and then we've just slapped on some other parts and cut some corners here and there, right? So that we can make room for the you know, the markup that we're used to enjoying, right? There's no doubt that there's markup on this stuff. Otherwise, the companies wouldn't be able to, you know, uh, succeed. But it's nice to be able to get what we expect. So this is not a groundbreaking design. It's not something we've never seen before, right? We've definitely said we've got a lot of this stuff. But it's nice to see something a little bit different. I would like to see Myguron slash AM8 take some more risks. And there's some indicate. I, I remember a conversation um, where uh, they they seemed willing to do that. Um, but uh, a lot of their stuff, if you're not familiar with Migron, is very straightforward. They they do, for the most part, kind of more of a classy aesthetic, right? With a little bit less like, whoa, what the heck is that kind of look. Um, but uh, it's always good, you know, to have a couple, I think, in your line where it's a little bit WTF. I think that's a good idea. But this is nice. This is not a, um, this is not uh, a comprehensive review. This is not, this is just an unboxing and first impressions. So you can expect the full review of this knife a few weeks down the road if you want to uh, wait and hear my thoughts on it after I've had a chance to kind of check it out. Um, I'll probably just carry and use it like a regular pocket knife, right? Not going to do anything super extensive. I'm not a metallurgist, don't have uh, Rockwell testing equipment, right? Uh, but I will give you my thoughts on the design versus other knives that are similar and in the same competitive price bracket, I guess. Um, that's, uh, that's really it. Like I said, I will link it down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Thanks so much to my girl for sending it in. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.